All right, we're here with Coach Stout, head coach of the Sea Rapids Titans. Coach, day one in the books for Coach's Bean. How do you think you went today? A uh, good, very, very good session today. Uh, you know, a chance to, to get together with all the coaches and, and also officials and yourself and just kind of go over our game from a technical standpoint. And it's always good to, to learn and, and share ideas amongst coaches too as well. Great. All right, coming off a great season last year, obviously uh, went to the United Conference Championship game. Uh, what are some of the things you're looking at your roster this offseason to, to get you over the hump and, and make that United Bowl push this year? Well, we're, we're, my main goal this year was to get more team speed and get a little bit more physical and athletic guys. I think we've, we've been able to get that done here. The majority of our recruiting is done right now. So looking forward to just being a more physical team and, and athletically uh, stronger team than we've been in the last couple of years. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. With, with Coach Miller, uh, offense coordinator, Wichita Falls Nighthawks. Uh, Coach, first year expansion franchise down there in Texas. How are things going this offseason? I mean, things are going well. It's coming together, of course, slowly but surely, but we're putting the right little pieces to the puzzle together and, you know, just trying to make ourselves competitive with the rest of the teams that are in the league already. Great. All right, so day one is in the books of the coaches meeting here in Kansas City. Uh, what are the, some of the things that you're looking forward to for the 2015 season? I'm looking forward, you know, playing against these guys on the field. You know, coaching is always a big, you know, reunion, camaraderie, getting together and getting the rules worked out. You know, it actually went fairly smooth. I've been to a lot of coaches' meetings where it doesn't go as smooth. So, to be honest, it was a very smooth coaches' meeting, and that only translates into good play during the season. All right, thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, we're with Tommy Williams, head coach of Green Bay Blizzard. Coach, obviously you took over uh, late last uh, season for the Blizzard, really righted the ship up there towards the end of the year. Uh, what are some of the things you've been working on this offseason to build off of that momentum heading into the upcoming season? Well, first of all, we um, we had to get some better football players in. We recruited well. We recruited all over the country. Um, and also we had to you know, change the culture of our team a little bit, change the logo, change the, the environment. Um, and I think we've done that. I think we're looking forward to 2015. You know, and as we say, our motto is unfinished business. And, um, you know, can't wait till training camp starts. Great. All right, day one's in the book here. The coaches being obviously a lot of familiar faces in there yeah. uh, throughout the years, coached against a lot of these great coaches. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that uh, you take away from the uh, meeting today, uh, you know, and, and apply it to your team here going forward? Well, you know, the, the first thing was having all the great coaches together again. You know, we could sit down and laugh and joke and, you know, look at the rules and obviously, uh, you know, get together and just uh, enjoy the day together. But I think, you know, what we learned is that you know the rules are different um, we've added some great things um, we've taken away some great things as well but you know that the, be the best part about it is you know 2015 is coming up and we're looking forward to a great year I think all the coaches are as well and um, you know everybody's excited we're looking forward to it all right very good thanks coach all right thank you head coach Colorado Ice uh, coach obviously a great season last year you were named IFL coach of the year uh, MVP quarterback Willie Copeland coming back uh, what are some of the things you've done this offseason to make that push for the United Bowl in 2015? Well, one is actually getting Willie to sign back as well as um, Kaiser, you know, getting those two on the offense to come back to solidify what we're trying to do, a foundation, um, and then recruiting, you know, bringing in some new guys up front um, as well as on our D-line because we had a couple guys move up um, to the CFL. Um, so it's definitely, it's going to be a little rough, you know, having a young team again, but I'm definitely looking forward to the challenge of, you know, trying to get back to that United Bowl and, and winning one again. Well, we're here at the coaches' meeting in Kansas City. Obviously, the first time in a couple years we've had one of these things. Uh, what are some of the things that were discussed uh, yesterday and today that you're looking forward to implementing for the next season? Well, I wouldn't say implement. It's just refresher of the, the rules because it's been, I mean, I haven't did one of these since 2012 or so to get you know, a refresher course on that to understand the rules a little bit better. You can teach a little bit better technique of what's going on. To have the uh, Tom here, the head of referees, to kind of see how they're going to be calling different things and what they're looking for is definitely going to be a, an advantage to have in um, this meeting, as well as the camaraderie that you have with the coaches, meeting some new coaches down this way. It's definitely going to be fun, a fun season, getting to know some new coaches. And that's the thing that I think that was very important. Um, as well as the different social events that we have here, you know, after meetings and everything, just hanging out with the coaches, getting to know them a little bit better. It's going to be beneficial to have those newfound friends, so to say, in this league. Great. Thank you, Coach, and good luck next season. Thanks again, Mike.
All right, we're here with Dixie Wooten, head coach of the Bemidji Axemen. Coach, uh, obviously uh, the new head coach up there in Bemidji, a second-year franchise. What are some of the things you're looking forward to for the 2015 season with the team? Um, looking for some great things, you know. Um, we got a new front office, new ownership, so things are going real great for us. You know, they put a lot of things in place for us to be successful and things like that, so I look for a great year. Right now. Very good. Obviously, all the coaches here in the IFL meeting in Kansas City uh, for the coaches meeting uh, yesterday and today. Uh, what, what are your some of your share some of your experiences uh, over the past couple of days and some of the things that uh, you look forward to implementing for next season coming uh, out of these meetings? It was, it was a great meeting, you know, you know, from playing with, against a lot of coaches, not coaching with them. It was a, it was a great honor to meet them in that in that point. But you know, at the end of the day, the meeting was successful. You know, learned a lot of the rules. You know, learned a lot of the business part of it. So you know, this this meeting in Kansas City was great. All right, very good. Thanks, coach. And good luck next year. Appreciate it. All right, we're here with Coach Brandon, head coach, Iowa Barnstormers. Coach, the Iowa Barnstormers, first year franchise here in the IFL. What are some of the things you, you experience here at the coaches' meetings that you think you can use to your benefit for the upcoming season? You know, obviously being a first year coach in the IFL, I'm, I'm excited to get started. It's a, a different rule set from, from what I'm used to, so kind of learning all that. Having Tom here uh, in Independence to help us through the rule book and, and things like that was a big uh, a big help for me and, and just learning from these other coaches and their experience. There's a lot of coaches here that I respect uh, that have been in the game for a long time and, and look forward to competing with this season. Right, very good. Obviously, uh, we, we got a, the season's right around the corner here. How's the off-season recruiting trail going? How are you feeling about your team for the upcoming season? You know, I think we've got a lot of great guys coming into the one. They're excited to be part of the Iowa Barnstorm organization. Uh, they play with a lot of passion. They, you know, we got a good mix of guys that have some IFL experience, which I feel is important, uh, that are still hungry and have something to prove. And I think we've got a lot of talent that can go out and compete every Saturday night. All right, very good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, we're here with Coach Shaq, head coach, Tri Cities Fever. Coach, obviously the first time uh, we've had a coaches meeting the past couple of years here. Uh, it's good to get everybody meeting here in uh, Kansas City. Uh, what are some of the experiences you've had this week and that uh, you're looking forward to implementing for the upcoming season? Well, you know, we, we compete hard on the field and it's a competitive sport. So this is a chance to get, our, get to our colleagues outside of football a little bit, uh, talk about the game we love, the indoor game, and work on the rules and, and uh, become more familiar with each other. Uh, and also uh, this game that we love so much. Uh, very good. Obviously, the, the season's right around the corner here. A couple months will be kicking off. Uh, how's the roster taking shape this offseason? Obviously, you got a, a lot of veteran players coming back. How are you feeling about uh, your team's chances for the upcoming season? Well, we've got a lot of veterans back, and we've got some good rookies, too. If we can stay healthy, uh, which has been our problem, not turn the ball over early in the season, and get off to a better start than we had in the past two years, uh, I feel like we're giving ourselves a chance. Uh, you know, we have a lot of talents. We come down to the chemistry in the locker room and, and, uh, and really uh, injuries and, and taking care of the football. All right, very good. Thanks, Coach, and good luck this coming season. Thank you. Head coach of the defending United Bowl champion, Sioux Falls Storm. Coach, obviously, uh, Champions the past couple of years here in the IFL. What's one of the biggest obstacles you see uh, facing uh, of defending your crown in the upcoming 2015 season? Well, I, I think the biggest challenge is going to be filling our roster, trying to fill in some spots that we lost some very valuable players. Okay. Very good. And obviously, we're here at the coaches being in Kansas City. Uh, it's been the first time in a couple of years we've had one of these things. Uh, what are some of the uh, experiences you had today that uh, you think were beneficial for the coaches and the IFL as a whole going forward? I think any time the, the coaches and the officials can get together and, and discuss points of view and uh, watch some quality film and, and look at uh, discrepancies and, and work those things out, coaches know how to coach and then the officials uh, can continue to make those calls and we can adapt to those things. All right, very good. Thanks, Coach. Good luck next year. Thank you.